Back to our microclimate weather alert. Meteorologist Carrie Hall has been keeping track of things. The rain has been a welcome sight. But, I mean, not a dent on our drought condition. No, we're going to talk about that, too, because people want to know, does this rain help? And, right. you know, we do need a lot more rain and storms like this and even bigger ones to really get caught up. So let's get a look at our, our what we're seeing right now on the radar. A couple of spotty showers just off the coast in San Francisco, as well as right near our Storm Ranger site where we have it parked on Santa Bruno Mountain. But much of the action right now happening for the Central Coast, where we are seeing some of those showers continuing to move through and we're going to see that chance that a few of those thunderstorms could move into especially the South Bay and the East Bay going into the next couple of uh, hours into this afternoon. But let's look back on how much rain we measured. Ben Loman in the Santa Cruz Mountains getting over two inches of rain. That was really great to see. Mount Tam had over an inch of rain and Santa Rosa about three quarters of an inch of rain while Castro Valley was nearing an inch of rain. I think we're pretty much done there with Morgan Hill measuring about a half inch of rain. There still will be some rain possible for the South County. Los Gatos reaching over a half inch of rain, Richmond three tenths and over a half inch of rain for Danville today. San Francisco really didn't get that much. In fact, there was more in San Jose than San Francisco. So we're looking at still a kind of a changeable weather pattern going into today with that energy moving in. There will be the potential of a few scattered showers developing during this afternoon. Notice the reds and the oranges in time for the evening commute. That's when we could see those thunderstorms moving by and there still once again could be some for the North Bay, but the highest chance will be East Bay, South Bay, South County, as well as the Santa Cruz Mountains. And then we start to see this activity tapering off by late tonight. So we're not completely clear with the rain as of now. And the reason why we do continue this microclimate weather alert with Fremont seeing a break from the showers. But look at our forecast for about two to three o'clock this afternoon shows that that rain could come back and we'll see it possibly pr producing some thunderstorms. And so how much of that rain really helped us out here? When we take a look at our overall numbers uh, before this morning, we needed over six inches of rain in Santa Rosa to catch up to normal and over four and a half inches of rain in San Jose. All of us seeing some pretty big deficits, but the bigger picture really shows that the Sierra is really lacking here. Only 31% of the normal amount of Sierra snowpack in the northern Sierra, and it's not doing much better than that in the central and southern Sierra. We're we're going back to some dry weather for the rest of the week. No chances of rain, at least through the beginning of April, but hopefully we see a change after that. We're not completely done with our rain chances just yet for the season. Looking at those rain chances after that, we're seeing sunshine and it's going to be a nice and comfortable rest of the week. Look at the weekend highs in the low 70s with a lot of sunshine. Laura Marcus.